Hi everybody, Dave Boy here. Um, I've created this video for you um, just really to describe what the custom map modification does and to how to install it. So um, this custom map modification um, basically provides to you in each match when you access the map itself custom images um, appearing on the left and or on the right um, of the map interface. Um, what I've done on top of that then as well is that um, each particular sub-faction will have their own particular flavor and style um, uh, appearing in, in a the themed map pack. So let's say you're a big fan of say let's say the Blood Angels um, or the Iron Warriors or etc whatever the, that sub-faction is. Um, when you download um, a themed map pack that I provided, um, you'll find that of the 14 maps that are currently in the game, each will have, say, that sub-faction's uh, unique uh, library um, or banners or symbols or weapons or, or heroes or images appearing when you access the map interface in, in the match itself, okay? So regarding the themes being available, right now we have all of the Loyalist Space Marine, Marine uh, founding chapters being available. Um, none of the successor chapters that are in the game have their own uh, uh, modded map pack, but given time I may be able to do that. Um, for KS Space Marines, we have four of the five legions present. Uh, the Black Legion is only missing at right now, so I'll try to make time to, to create that. For Eldar, we have an Ultway uh, theme, and for Orc Warbands, we only have uh, Evil Suns being present. But uh, if I get the time and the high quality resolutions images available, I'll, um, I'll create them and, 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 and add them to the, to the modification. Um, if you want to get those updates, um, what I suggest to you to do is to go to the um, forum link that I provide in this video description and create a, a watch on the on the forum itself, and you'll get notifications whenever I make um, or comment on any updates or changes that um, I've made to the mod itself. Uh, that would be probably the best way for you to to make sure you've got the latest uh, uh, modification. And um, yeah, that's really it in regards to what the, the, the mod is about, and next we're going to cover um, how to install it. Okay guys, I've described the mod itself, so how to install it, well, go to the form link that I provided to you um, in the description of this video. All right, first off, you just want to go and, and back up your local maps. It's not entirely necessary, but I would advise it, okay? Um, but yeah, do your backup. So you want to find your maps, okay? What you need to do, all right, do this or find this easily, is just go to your library directory, games, um, in Steam itself, okay, right click on it, select the properties, go to local files, go browse local files, okay, we'll open up um, Windows uh, Explorer window here, um, go to Eternal, direct Eternal Crusade, should I say, content, UI, image assets, maps, full maps, okay. What you see here, okay, are the um, 23 um, files that are stored locally in your on your on your drive, okay. Just right-click them, um, go copy. And you can back them up, say, to directory in your on on, on your desktop. Probably gonna, not going to need them again anyway. Just copy them. Don't cut them. Just copy them out, okay. Um, and that's your backup. It's just a safe. To, um, um, a, a safety measure just in case something goes wrong, okay? Um, if something does go wrong, okay, you somehow delete it or lose it, all you've got to do ever um, in uh, in Steam is actually is to go to local files, verify the integrity of the game files. And what that will do is actually check your files and then it'll actually um, uh, download the, the original maps um, to your drive. It's about, I think, 50 or 60 megabytes to download um, after you verify. So it's not a big download, to be honest. Okay. All right. Once you've done that backup, we'll get on to how to actually copy over the files. 
Okay, once you've backed up your local files, go to step two. You want to download the particular um, cosmetic map modification that you want. Um, so click on the Google Drive. You'll see, as I described earlier, the various different uh, themes available based on the chapter or Legion, Warband, or a craft world. Okay. Um, once you've downloaded that, okay, um, just go to your download directory itself. Okay. Um, in this case, I've picked, say, Iron Warriors. All right. Go into the Iron Warriors directory and you'll see the 14 current live maps that we have available in the game. Select copy. Okay. And again, you're going to go back to Steam, go to Library, Games, right click on Eternal Crusade, go Properties, go Local Files, go Browse Local Files. And again, similar to the backup, we're just going to go to the, the, um, the map directory and we just go paste. All right. So it's asking me to confirm. I say yes. Copying, I've copied those files and pasted them in. Okay, so I've replaced um, the default um, 14 maps with my cosmetic map. Okay, um, if you want to confirm that or check that, all you got to do is just open up one of the particular files. Oh, okay, just to see. Okay, yeah, this is a modified version. Okay, that's simply if you want to confir confirm it itself. Um, once that's done, you're you're ready to go actually you just need to um, start up the game um, and start to play every time you access the um, uh, the map feature in the game itself you'll see the uh, the, the cosmetic maps appearing 